As part of efforts to ensure harassment-free environment for students of the Federal University, Dusima, irrespective of their gender, the university's Center for Gender Studies launches safeguarding tools to protect women and girls from gender violence and other forms of harassment. Besides, the center had hitherto been organizing programs basically on issues to do with gender-based violence. We are collaborating with RAPA and the Gender for Mobile Initiative to entrench tools that we are going to use in safeguarding women and girls to protect them. Uh, the female gender is a cherished gender. That the vice chancellor of the university believes that women should be protected by all, emphasizing on the need for special attention to be given to them wherever they are. It is our duty to protect them, to see that they feel comfortable in school. Whoever did anything to them will have a policy where they can report easily, either through the dean's student affairs, through the counseling center, through their dean's head of department, any staff and other principal officers of the university. On her part, wife of the Kassina State Governor describes the new policy as a step in the right direction, stressing the need for all higher institutions of learning across the state to replicate same. Meanwhile, special advisor to the Governor on Higher Education observes that the issue of violence cuts across all genders. However, it's more disturbing and common among the female gender. Some of us are misusing the privilege, are misusing their powers, are misusing their strength to ensure that. They cheat, they mime, they attack, they harass, they insult the ladies. This certainly must be stopped. And nothing could stop this other than our policies in tertiary institutions. With these tools launched, students can now report any harassment against them, even from their comfort zones, for the university management to follow up on the report and find means of investigating and punishing anyone that has been harassed.